Alright guys, so now we're going to show a uh, empty hand technique. It's not an original one, I'm sure you guys have this in your system too, but it's one of my favorite ones to do off of what we call block check counter or trapping hands or any three combinations. So she's going to throw a wild punch. Now Grant, she's aiming for my head. She's helping me out. If she's aiming out there, that's not helping me. Help your partner by actually aiming. There's an old Chinese proverb in martial arts, reserve the strength applied and never the technique. There's a reason for that. So she's gonna aim for my head. Boom, right there. I tapped her, see that? I didn't hit her hard, I tapped her. From there, she blocked it. Premature, a little, a little late there, but it's okay. From here, bonsau, elbow down. Now I'm gonna apply some of the things we learned from small soccer jiu-jitsu. Thumb wrist entry, snaking the hand over into a compressed elbow lock. Now this isn't enough, so I'm gonna reinforce it and drop it down. Notice my footwork here. I was like this. When I dropped it down, I was here. I could do a number of things. I could put my leg over her head and do a mobility throw, but honestly, I think simplicity, simplicity is the best. Bam, right there across the face, or right across the jawline, and the fist. One more time. Boom. Bounce out. Bang. From here. I could hit her once again on the way in to get this here. Boom. Set up my kick. Set up my mobility throw. Set up my locks. Whatever I want to do. It's all there. That's also just a good one. Just straight up Spartan 300 kicker right across the face. That's mean, but don't do that. Does a punch one more time. We're going one, two, three. In that order, one, two, three, brush grab strike from here. Bonsau, or rolling elbow, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna take my elbow, bring it straight down, boom. From here, hit across the face while this is going around. The real magic though, if you want to come to this angle, is how I get around the arm. It's not just that, that wouldn't work. What it is, what Professor Wally J called this thumb wrist entry. Thumbing around and there. Then I got all my moves there. Punch, hammer lock, or compressed elbow lock. Got the arm, boom, I could do that one. Punch in the side of the head, whatever you want to do. One more time though. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, however you want to finish it, she blocks this, boom, whatever. Still got that one. Whatever you want to do. This is a fun one, try it out. You want to try it lefty, try it righty. Do whatever you want to do. Just remember, take care of your partner. We really love to keep it in threes. The human brain registers things best in threes. That's why you have your ABCs, your one, two, threes. It just makes everything simpler. In this example, Roberta, please. He'll be armed, I'll be unarmed. Really scary positioning for certain people, but we're training, we're having fun, we're relaxing now. We train this way so we can apply it in real life. He's gonna throw a forehand strike slowly. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Shoot this at his head. What happens if he doesn't block it? He gets hit. Again, he did block it, that's great. From here, I can do any number of things I wanna do, but for simplicity's sake, best thing you can do here is just drive it forward. Driving it forward, boom. My hand is now past his head, but notice what I still got trapped in here, his weapon. I'm fighting him on two fronts now. Well, he's fighting me on two fronts. He's trying to block my hand and get his weapon back. I'm not letting him do either. By pushing, aggressing, and there's my disarm. Again, I'm not worried about the weapon as long as he doesn't have it. From here, I don't break contact, slide this over here. There's a the finish. One more time, a little faster now. That's it. My hands are up here. I don't ever want to have my hands down here. If your hands are down here in the streets and someone's getting that close to you, you need to reevaluate some of your training methods. My ready position in any situation is always up here. Hey man, come on, we can be cool about this. We don't got to fight. I don't want to fight. I'm, I'm tired. I get up, I work very early in the days. This is also very defensive, also very relaxing. He'll think I'm a coward, he might walk away. Great. Let's say he doesn't. He sees me as a threat, he's going to attack me. Boom, right there. Boom, right there. Here, here. I lost the arm, but that's okay. Still got this. Now, I'll try this time to not lose the arm. Boom. Notice how I stepped in on him. Most people aren't used to that. Most people, when they're aggressing you, or the simplest way to put it, when they're bullying you, they think you're gonna step back. They will not expect you to step in. 
you then became the aggressor. That throws off the game. So, boom! Yes, right there. That'd be a punch across the ear, punch in the eye, whatever. I'm not hitting him now because he's my partner. I want to be nice to him from here. Disarm here, slide this down, compressed elbow again. I don't need this hand because I'm keeping it braced up here in my shoulder. Any number of things I want to do. My favorite. This is a straight line downward. I'm just going to hammer fist it. Just like I've seen all the kung fu movies, you know, just boom, right there. Or again, there's my knee. Take some Muay Thai classes, let me throw those knees in there. Whatever you want to do. Step in on the attack. One of the things in modern areas that we work on is attack the attack. I don't want to be on the defense. I want him to think he's the aggressor until he learns the hard way. He is not. He has a weapon. He's the big, strong, scary guy. I'm the weak dude with no weapon on for some reason. I should, I'm stupid. I should have a knife on me or at least a pencil. I could use these, but then I'm blind. I don't want to do that. He throws that strike again. I don't know. Kill him right there. Bang. I cross his own center line. Look at where his head is versus his feet. If his head is past his feet, honestly, all I have to do is this, and he's gone. But I don't want to do that right now. If you get the guy's head past his feet, the balance is off. From here, shoot the disarm, get the lock. Do whatever you want to do. Attack the attack. Thanks, guys.